Morning. <laughs> I know it's been a little while since I've been on here, but I've been doing a lot of stuff since my last update on the old garage project here. Uh, during towards the end of the winter, I started running out of money and running out of time to do stuff, so there wasn't much going on there. But I did end up getting the, the garage cleaned out quite a bit. Uh, there was a ton of stuff that I threw on the curb. Some other stuff I sold on Craigslist, and it took a few months to get it moved. But I finally got it sold, so it's out of my way. So I'm going to show you all what, uh, what I've been up to and what I've gotten done and a few of the new toys that I've got since my last video to make this a more efficient, more capable shop that I can use for working on vehicles or daily projects, just whatever I happen to be doing at the moment. So uh, let me flip this camera around here and I'll start showing you. Now, as I'm sure you can see, I got a lot of the stuff around cleared out. There was a bunch of wood and junk there before, so I got rid of all that, put it on the curb. That's just, I had to replace the screen door and whatnot. Uh, I had a log splitter that I just sold the other day. Somebody finally came and bought it. It took months and months to get the log splitter out of here, and I was kind of sad to see it go, but I really wasn't using it anymore. I would have kept it if I had a fireplace, but I don't even have a fireplace here, so I really don't have any use for a log splitter since I shut down the, uh, the old firewood business. So in its place, I put something new. And uh, my birthday was you know, a week or two ago, and after enough time of complaining and talking about it and all, uh, my wife picked up on something that I'd really been wanting but just couldn't justify spending the money on it, and that is this right here. I got a compressor. This is a Cobalt 30 gallon uh, tank here. It's got a 110 plug, which is really handy because I can just plug it into where the uh, garage door opener used to be and just run that down. And then since I got that, I was uh, had to go out and buy the hose, got a uh, little air dryer and uh, filter for it. That way it doesn't get gunk into my air tools. A couple of couplers. And I wasn't able to put anything there before because I had a big log splitter taking up that whole section there. And, uh, but a lot of the stuff there, I moved it out, threw it on the curb, so now I've got room for everything. These tires are on here on Craigslist because they were on the old 98, which I didn't want to just sell the tires with it and lose the money on them, so I'm going to try to sell them separately or maybe sell them with the truck, which I still have, by the way. It's been months, and a few people have come to look at it, but they found something else on Craigslist, so I still have it. But... Now those are there. So now I have this entire area that I can pull the car into, work on it, pull it out. Someday I'll clean that out a little bit more with the other junk that's back there. Those shelves helped quite a bit because I built those shelves. I was able to put all the stuff out of the way. So here are a few of the tools that I've managed to get since the last video. These here our gear wrench uh, flex head ratchets, the 120 XP, and they are so smooth. I think they're 84 tooth, but with the way the paws are set up in there, they are just, they're so smooth and I freaking love them. <laughs> so I got those the other day. And then these three here, 3 8 impact, a 3 8 air ratchet, and a grinder, these were in my toolbox when I bought it, but I had no compressors, so I didn't know if they worked or not. And I just recently, uh, just today actually, they all had the industrial, uh, I can't remember what in the world, those are couplers, inlets, whatever they are. I call them a plug. <laughs> so a lot of, they all had the uh, industrial plug, but I set everything up on the compressor to be automotive. So I've got an automotive and I put it in each one of them and found out all three of these still work. So now I have a 3 8 impact gun, Ingersoll Rand, and then these are just Cummins, which are a little you know, cheaper, kind of like the original Harbor Freight. And, uh, but these, these still work too. And along with the compressor, my wife got me the half-inch Earthquake XT impact wrench from uh, Harbor Freight. That thing's great. So with those, of course... I bought a set of uh, 
Harbor Freight torque sticks. I know I said I wasn't going to get a lot of Harbor Freight stuff, but at the moment, that's all I've had money for. So there are the torque sticks. I went out and got me one of these little squirter bottles like the old Tin Man used to use. And this is filled with homemade, uh, what's that stuff called? Break free penetrating oil. That's what it's called. Homemade penetrating oil. It was half automatic transmission fluid and half acetone. So I got one of those. That way I could use that. I uh, managed to also get a torque wrench when I was working on the 98 Ram that I still have. Then I also needed a breaker bar. So I got a 24 inch through a half inch drive breaker bar. And then for one socket that I needed for that one axle nut, I had to get a three quarter breaker bar because the socket I needed was three quarter. So there was that. And then just a little uh, you know, tire inflator and a little blow gun. The blow gun I really don't need for blowing stuff, but it's just because these air compressors are supposed to drain the air and the water from them daily or you know, whenever you get done using them. And they have this little safety valve right here, pressure relief valve. And yeah, that lets the pressure out. It's made for if the pressure gets too high, it'll automatically open and let the pressure out so you don't blow out components of the compressor. But you can also pull that out and it'll let the pressure out. Well, when that thing goes, you pull that out to let the pressure off, it'll dang near blow your eardrums out because it's so dang loud. And then this little uh, valve down here for draining the tank, they say you're not supposed to use that at anything higher than 40 PSI because the valve could be damaged. Well, this thing, when you pop it open, it is also extremely loud. So what I did is I got one of these blow guns here so I could drain the pressure slowly or a little quieter because instead of using the valves on that, I can take this, hook it up to the hose and then run the hose over and put it underneath the garage door and just stick a clamp or something on that. And then instead of having all this loud noise inside the shop here, it'll be pumped out the garage door. It won't be as loud and it'll release the pressure enough to where once it gets low enough, I can open up the valve on the bottom of the tank. And then uh, the shelf up above that I built is coming in very handy. I found this air, this oil filter in uh, my 98 Dodge and I don't know exactly where it came from, but it's brand spanking new and it'll fit on my truck that I have now. So I'm gonna save that. And then I've just managed to put all these different cans of stuff up there there's not much behind it, but if I need to, I can just shove them back and put something else on there. That way, it's up there and out of my way. Um, I did manage to pick up a new hitch for my truck because the one I have on there now is adjustable like seven inches down or you can flip it over and raise it six and a half inches, but it has like a 5,000 pound tongue weight. And every time I use that trailer, I'm really pushing the limit on that. So I got this one, and it is a 17,000-pound rating. So that'll be a lot better. I just have to get a ball with a bigger shank on it to go through that hole because the one that's on the hitch that I have now, or the receiver I have now, uh, will not fit into that. It's got a smaller diameter shank on it. So once I get around to picking one of those up, I'll be able to throw that on the truck. And then, of course, I've got room underneath for stuff. I just got some spare buckets if I need a bucket. There's some spare oil that I'm not exactly sure where it came from, but it's still good. Uh, you know, jack stands and jack underneath it. And then if I need bungee cords or anything, I've got bungee cords and ratchet straps over there. So, you know, it's definitely getting easier because when you pull the car in here, the tires every time line up right next to this pole. And then I was always working between whatever was here and the vehicle. So now that I have this whole area here cleaned out, it gives me more room to slide the jack under the vehicle to jack it up. Or if I'm doing something on the side, I've got a little bit more room that I can sit without being crammed into there. And it just makes you feel better having a nice, clean, organized er shop. So definitely getting there in terms of uh, you know, 
know, acquiring tools slowly and getting stuff kind of cleaned out more and more. So it's definitely getting easier to work, more room, more space, more organized. And uh, so it definitely just kind of puts your mind at ease a little bit more because if you walk into your house and there's just clutter everywhere, you're going to be a little agitated and irritated. But if you walk in and it's clean and open and organized, you just feel good about it. And uh, one way that I actually was able to do that with my toolbox is I went through all the different drawers, mainly the sockets and wrenches, and I got out all of the multiples. Here's extra, you know, it's like this junk here, that's broken. And then I found all of these other 3 8 inch ratchets that are all just old cheapos. Some of them work, some of them don't, but these are the kinds that you buy and use like one time and then they're broken by the time you're done. And then all of these wrenches, these were all multiples. And I found out in my toolbox I had like 13 different brands of ratchets, or of wrenches. All of those different brands, some of them decent, some of them just cheap junk all the same sizes so i got all those out of there and then i went through the sockets and those are all multiples of sockets that i have they were all different uh you know different sizes but i went through and i lined them all up ex according to exactly what size they were and i found out okay well i've got you know two of this size i've got four of this size i've got six of that size and so I just left one of each in the drawer and put all the extras and multiples in this box. And I don't want to throw them away uh, just because someday one of them might disappear, some of them might break, something may go wrong. So I would like to be able to, or if somebody wants to borrow one, say, hey, do you have a you know, three-quarter wrench I can borrow? I'll go, yeah, here. Take, the, uh, take this one. I'm not using it. And then if they lose it or don't return it, it's not that big of a deal because I've got six more in this box and then more in the toolbox. Uh, so, yeah, I went through and organized it a little bit more. That drawer is empty because all that stuff's on the table. But, you know, lay it all out, all standard, all metric. Lay them out according to size. You know, get everything all nice and organize the way best way you can so it has been a uh, very productive time because we're back to work now driving a truck so i'm doing that but then uh my wife's car broke down so i was able to pull it right in here into the garage you know, it was nice and cool during the summer it's warm during the winter warmish during the winter because <laughs> there's really no heat or ac in here i blocked off the vent because the gaps in the garage doors are just so dang big that all the outside air runs in but it's a little bit better than just doing it out in the driveway at least the floor is smooth so that i'm not sitting there doing it on chunked up concrete uh, i've done one of her friends has come in for a brake job so i'll do that and it's it's starting to come together so i'm happy about it and that's what i've been up to since uh, my last video because i really haven't had much to make a video on I've just been working and trying to find ways to stay busy. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, I'm going to get back to uh, putting all this away and organizing it and make sure everything's good to go. And y'all be good.